Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm excited to tell you all about new features with Amazon, their voice assistant and the Fire TVs. But stay tuned till the end as I tell you how you can do something great for someone and win something at the same time. Today's video is sponsored by some people who would like to see Automate Your Life continue to produce great content like this and those are the people behind EarthCam TV 2 which is an application you can get on your Amazon Fire TV device, your Google Chromecast or your Android TV or your Apple TV. While they have a free application that allows you to look at cameras all over the world, you can get an all access pass for $4.99 a year and get all of their premier features including creating a watch list to watch cameras in whatever order you'd like and to add in soundtracks with different music styles so it becomes a truly great experience. Check out the links below or search for EarthCam TV 2 on your Fire TV Stick, Android TV or Apple TV today. We've seen the growth of things like reminders and custom lists on the Amazon smart displays as well as on their speakers and even on the Google smart displays we've seen a family notes feature where you can leave a little love note for your significant other and whenever they look at the screen they'll get that. Amazon's a bit of an older fashioned company I would say and that's why their latest day one edition product makes sense for them and I think it makes sense for a lot of people around the world. In fact, there were so many people that I was a couple of days late to when most people had already gone and purchased or thrown their money into the hat for this thermal printer that will create sticky notes for you and your family physically by using Amazon's voice assistant to create them. Now, as a thermal printer, what's really nice is you're not talking about ink, you're not worried about replacing components. It's just gonna work for a very long time and you basically need that sticky note paper. Where this is more exciting than just a thermal printer is because Amazon really has kicked off a program and we saw the Echo Frames, we saw the Echo Loop and we've seen a number of other products called Day One Editions. And what these are really coming out as part of is called Amazon build it Kickstarter program or Kickstarter like program. Now the other two products that came out at the exact same time they don't look like they're going to be funded and actually by the time you're watching this video that decision will have been made but it's based on how many people say they would like to purchase one and if enough people do that then the device is funded and it becomes a device that they will sell. Otherwise these ideas are gonna go away. So there's a cuckoo clock and there is also a smart nutrition scale and I'm a little bit upset about the smart nutrition scale not making it, but throughout today's video, I'm going to point you at creators who have done amazing things or have really important information that you need to know about with your Amazon Echo devices. And it's a little bit of a look ahead to what the hashtag is in the title and what we're talking about in terms of the giveaway. And I'm going to start with my great friend Paul Hibbert who has an incredible video put together for getting a great smart display or a control panel really for your smart home set up and built. And he actually walks through a number of different solutions and with you owning products like this, there's probably a couple of control panels you'd like to have around your home. So go check out Paul's video, links are below and up in the corner I think there. If you're like me you went out you purchased a fire tv stick but the 4k edition a while ago and now you might be noticing that the interface on that isn't quite as cool as the interface I have. So if you're feeling left out a little bit sad in life well don't worry too much more here. It's coming out right away and it will be available obviously it's going to roll out in the US first with that new interface and really coming to the Fire TV sticks in general is Voodoo. So if you're a subscriber there, go have a look for that application. The thing that I find more important though is live content. And this is because I'm someone who enjoys sports and I really don't want to have a bunch of different subscription services. So I can connect my live subscription service to the Fire TV stick. There's a number of those that work. It depends on your country. But when you have that 
connected. The new capability is that you can actually ask Miss A to play the Warriors game, or more appropriately, play the Dubs game. And it will go and go directly to that channel and the game at the time you'd like. So no more channel surfing even on that new interface. On that new interface, you're going to find a news app. And once you go into there, you'll find a number of the normal news stations that you probably look at nationally, at least in the US. But you can also go into a local news station segment, and this will bring up news that is local to you, especially, again, if you're in the US. It's not super useful around the world, but this is a growing service with more stations added every day. Oh. Excuse me. You know what? I was drinking all this coffee because I was trying to keep up with Reed from Smart Home Solver. And you know what? I thought I was doing these great comparison videos for different motion sensors and things that you could use. And then I saw Reed's latest comparison video with all of these smart bulbs. And honestly, you could use a ton of them with Miss A here in your products. And it's a wonderful video. Now this next feature isn't totally new, but it came to me through our Facebook group. And what happened was I think I was posting a lot about Miss A routines. We had the hidden tips and tricks video. And while that was all great, I clearly missed a pretty big one here. Now Michael came along and he created something that I think is gonna be really powerful with the new Echo Show 10, or if you have an older Echo Show second generation, those have great cameras on it. Five megapixels on the second gen and 14 here. You could still use this with the five and the eight inch versions of the Echo Shows. I don't think it's gonna be quite as powerful because those are smaller one megapixel cameras. Now, what he did is he used the customized action and the ability to connect things like motion sensors and cameras and trigger automation based off of people entering into a space. You could do this with door sensors as well, just a ton of different things. And what he did is he caused the camera to take a photo or a video. And now that's gonna be super powerful because it becomes like a security camera. Sometimes as a creator, I find myself doing things that get a little outside what might be useful to the average person. And that's just because I'm really techie at heart. And so, you know, it's great when I find creators like Craig from Craig's Tech Talk. And his latest video talks about a real privacy concern that you absolutely should pay attention to with these Echo devices. Now, this is something that you're not doing anything wrong and it's still a privacy concern you should understand. So go check out his video. Amazon's Halo Fitness Tracker, it's not the most popular one on the market and it's not been the most well-received device in terms of what it does. But if you have one of these, one of the key things missing was integration with Amazon's voice assistant. It was a little confusing to me at first, but this is the way Amazon goes. They put something out there, they're testing it, they're seeing how well it goes, and then they're gonna make improvements. And the latest improvement allows you to ask Miss A for your sleep score and for basic health and wellness information gathered by your Halo device. One of the most important features with the Echo devices is obviously to play music. They're speakers first and everything else second. Now, I recently showed a little tidbit of this newest feature that you can do with Amazon Music and really any music service, and that is that you can set a time that you would like to play music for on Amazon's voice assistant. I did it in routines, but you can do this just with your voice. So you can set a timeline up to eight hours, but if you wanna change that afterwards, you can actually, of course, tell Miss A to stop, or you can actually ask how much time is left, and that will trigger the point where it will give you an opportunity to change how much time is left. Play music for two hours. Best dance songs of 2020 Canada from Spotify. Playing for two hours or until end of the playlist. How much time is left on my music? About 58 minutes left. Change my music timer. How long do you want it to be? Two minutes. 58 minutes removed. 
You now have about six seconds left. And one of the great ways to use these features is actually at night with the white noise machine or just whatever you like to play in the evenings. And this is one of the many tricks that Diego will show you for getting Miss A or your Echo device to help you sleep better at night and to wake up more refreshed, which is a major problem for all of you. So you should definitely go check out Diego's video. Music is one form of entertainment, but I know a lot of you love gaming and that's part of why we connect here. But anyways, if you have a new Xbox, one of the Series S or the Series X, there is a Miss A app going to be available if it's not available already as you watch this video. And it's going to allow you to do things like display your camera, get the weather, and those basic things that you'd like to do with your Miss A voice assistant. And we've seen the new Luna service start to come out. There's been a couple of people trying it out. And while I'm in Canada and got access to a trial, unfortunately, I couldn't get it working up here because it's US only right now. But that has actually served my friend Tech with Brett really well, who says, so far, so good with the gaming service. Now, remember that name as we go through our last big feature and the giveaway details. So the last feature is an important thing for a number of reasons. And I think the biggest thing is accessibility because I have seen these little flick buttons placed throughout different devices. And, you know, I've even seen them set into 3D printed foot pedals. And those have allowed people who maybe can't use their hands to press them to press these buttons and to trigger things throughout their home. I've also seen these in the ends of fishing rods and inside of purses, the sidewalls of purses and things like that to keep people safe. So these are a highly diverse device and they got something extra just this last week. The new feature that was released is the fact that flick buttons can now trigger Miss A's routines. And this is something that is excellent on its own. But when I show you what this new feature can do, I think you're going to be blown away because it's not just Miss A that you can deal with here. Where this starts is in the Flick application and these buttons do three things. And the first one is a single click, the second one is a double click, and the third one is a hold. And you can add Miss A into any of the actions or you can add it as an action when you do any of those things with a button. So when you click and you have the Miss A capability included in your action, well, then it's ready to trigger a routine. Now, this is where it gets absolutely wild because it's not like that's all you can do with these buttons. See, you can have multiple actions out of a single click of one of these buttons. And plus they have Philips Hue and If This Then That and Sonos and a ton of other integrations in their application. Well, now you can trigger a bunch of those at the same time and you're absolutely a magician with a button. So once you have added this first action into let's say a single click with one of these buttons, that allows you to go over to the Miss A application and then you're going to search for the flick skill. Then you enable that and you log in with the same credentials that you're using in the flick application. And for any flick button that you have added that action for Miss A, well, you're going to see a new device show up. And that means that you're gonna see a new device with the button's name and then dash the action that you're taking. So you can actually add the same button three times by including Miss A in the different actions there. So if you include it in a single press, a double press and a hold, you're going to see three new devices. And of course, if you add these later, just ask Miss A to discover my devices and it'll discover those new ones for you. Now, here's where you go and create the magic because as we move into the routine section, you will find within the when this happens section of that routine, the ability to add that new device that you have. And of course, that means you can trigger all kinds of things like getting your device to say this. Brian is a magician and so are you. 
here comes the giveaway. In order to win a three pack of these, you have to do a few things. If you'd like to go buy some of these with a 10% discount, check the links down below. I have a link for you there. 10% is not too bad when we're talking about this kind of capability. I want you to leave a comment down below that is sharing the love. Now this is a hashtag that you have to use specifically. I'll leave it down in the description. It's just hashtag share the love and then say something positive. I don't care if it's about me. I don't care if it's about your dog. I like dogs quite a bit in case you haven't noticed. So that comment down below gives you an entry into the giveaway and number three what you're going to do is head over to Tech with Brett's channel. Now Hang on, I've got a recommendation for what I think you should watch because we're all about the Amazon devices here today and Brett put together an absolutely incredible video on everything the Echo Show 10 can do. Now, what I'll tell you to do there is you've got to use that same hashtag, share the love, and then I want you to say something that is absolutely great about what Brett does on his channel, with his content, whatever strikes you. You're gonna do something selfless and you're gonna share the love with Brett. That's why Brett's video is what is up on screen right now. Go check out everything the Echo Show 10 can do. Do something selfless and otherwise, Thanks for watching. Of course, don't hate, automate.